Hi, this is video number 10 in my series and addresses two questions. Number one, what does energetics and the title of your book mean are energetic evolution and healing? Number two, what are your energetic health secrets to survive our toxic world? My name is Karen Mileson. I've been a researcher and practitioner in the natural health field for over 40 years and I'm an expert in energetic healing, including healing sick houses. I'm also a wellness coach and author of a book entitled, Our Energetic Evolution and Healing, The Secrets to Surviving the Unseen Forces That Are Killing You. In my earlier videos, I talked about how our sick house caused my husband's death from cancer and my former neurological problems. For the next five minutes, I'm going to get up on my soapbox to talk to you about some of my own personal beliefs. First, I'd like to define what energetics means to me and what our energetic evolution, the beginning of the title of my book, is all about. Energetics to me is the use of natural energies and methods for our own healing. Our energetic evolution is about our survival. Fixing our sick house is just the first but essential step in this. We are drowning in the sea of toxic radiation and all its related toxic energies all around us. In our food, our electricity, our home, our water, our air, everywhere. We now get a daily dosage of electromagnetic radiation up to 200 million times more intense than what our ancestors took in from natural sources and it's increasing rapidly. There are 80 new immune system disorders that have been discovered in the last 20 years. People are dying every day from diseases that the medical establishment still does not know the cause of or have a cure for. Technology is advancing faster than our bodies have learned to evolve to handle it. If we are to maintain any sort of good health, then we must evolve at least as fast as technology and the pollution of our environment. It would be great if technology would solve the pollution problems also, but that's not happening fast enough now. Too many people are getting sicker and sicker like I was and don't know why or what to do. My work focuses on ways to neutralize the toxicity around us, to buy us time, to teach our mind and body that we can evolve and learn to handle this to toxicity automatically and naturally. I believe our energetic evolution is a process of becoming more aware of who we are and the God-given powers and capabilities we possess within us. Our energetic evolution must first begin in our thought patterns before it can manifest in our physical body. Our mind, via our limiting belief systems and self-sabotage, can be our biggest handicap, and we may not even be aware of that. Our illnesses are messages to us that something is wrong in our life and or our environment. The symptoms in our body are all pieces of a puzzle that we can put together to see what's missing from our whole picture. Our body is trying to tell us what's wrong. We need to learn to listen to its messages and then we can find solutions for the core problems, not just a band-aid that might suppress the original symptoms so that we can no longer figure out the puzzle or its message. When I was sick, it was my intention to initiate a major change in my way of thinking, to expand my consciousness to know that I have the power and ability to create a healthy body automatically and naturally as an expression of a God-given gift we all possess. My belief in my God-given right and my strong desire to be healthy is what has driven me to discover these very natural, empowering, and powerful methods of self-healing. What can be more natural than to go within and to God for direction and talk to my own beingness and my own body about what I really desire. My book and the new energetic cleansing and healing system are the next step in this process. At some point in the future, after we have evolved and aligned ourselves further, I believe that our bodies will either not react to toxicity or will be able to transmute these toxins automatically. That's where I'm focusing my current research.